Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now, this time we're going to be looking into the 13th episode of Season 5 of The Muppet Show, which features Tony Randall. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with who Tony Randall is, he is actually known to be an actor, producer, and director. But specifically, his most famous role is actually playing as Felix Unger in both the play and the TV adaptation of The Odd Couple. But on top of that, he is more known to be a powerhouse as an actor, where he actually got three Golden Globe nominations for Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter, uh, there's also Pillow Talk and Lover Come Back that he got a nomination. And on top of that, one of his more well-known performances is actually providing the voice of the Brain Gremlin in Gremlins 2 The New Batch. And when we go into the episode that he appeared in, my god, this is definitely one of the funnier episodes of the season. And Tony Randall is actually a large factor into how this episode actually turned out to be really funny and really entertaining. Because the big thing with this episode in particular is that apparently Miss Piggy turned into stone. Like Tony Randall was just backstage just reading a bunch of spells just like out of curiosity to see how it works and stuff like that. And he ended up accidentally turning Miss Piggy into stone and that became a huge factor and a huge problem like what the heck can we do about it? How can we turn her back to normal and all that kind of stuff? So a lot of it is mostly seeing the trials and tribulations that Miss Piggy had to go through as she's completely turned into stone and either everyone else is trying to cooperate with Miss Piggy or they're just making jokes on her. Like she can technically still hear everything but she can't really do anything because she's turned into stone. And interestingly enough like, in contrast to one of the previous episodes where Kermit just blew off his lid and, like, he was at the most angriest that I've ever seen him, this is actually probably the most that I've seen Kermit be really affectionate towards Miss Piggy in The Muppet Show. Like, this is where we really see that Kermit does care about Miss Piggy so much. And when she's in a situation like this, Kermit is pretty much Miss Piggy's biggest supporter. Where in contrast, when you see the other Muppets like Floyd and Gonzo, they were just making jokes at her expense. And there is a little bit of a history with Floyd versus Miss Piggy, especially that one time when Floyd had to take care of Fufu. And I have to admit, like a lot of the zingers and the jokes that do come out of it right there, like, they were equally as funny as, like, the moments that you just see Miss Piggy, uh, just in this situation. And probably one of the best moments is, um, the Pigs in Space episode. And, like, you just see Link Hogthrob and Dr. Strange Pork just relaxing and just appreciating the fact that they are having a quiet day. And they actually did have the technology to turn Miss Piggy uh, back to normal. But when they did, they realized, nah, it's actually better off if she's packed into stone. So that's actually really cute. And uh, what ended up happening is that it did result in this great grand finale where somehow Miss Piggy does turn back to normal at the moment when Tony Randall decided screw it we're gonna use Miss Piggy as a statue when he wanted to read the poem of the green eye of the little yellow god and then suddenly um like because the whole the whole thing is that the uh secret word to turn Miss Piggy back to normal would be pigskin and he tried to get away with it by saying that it's football, but then suddenly, like, while he's reading the poem, you got all these football players just coming right out of nowhere just playing football. And then right in the middle of his poem, he's singing, Oh, Wisconsin. So, like, basically, you got this grand finale that just ends off with a bang with nothing but pure Muppet madness. Now, of course, the other segments as well are actually pretty entertaining. Like, you do have some, like, a caveman-themed Yakety Yak, and also probably just an insane rendition of uh, Bocelli's Minuet in A minor, where, and when I mean insane, it's like you got this whole Victorian Baroque theme that's going on, like, just going as usual, but everybody is pretty much fighting each other, like, 
They're all knocking each other down. The candelabra fell inside the piano and it's suddenly set on fire. Everything is exploding. So that's what I mean by an insane rendition. Um, but then you also got a little musical moment with Tony Randall where he sings uh, Tippy Tin, which is more like one of those turn of the century songs. And then also uh, they actually had a moment to sing a lovely bunch of coconuts, which was honestly really interesting to watch. And the biggest reason why I say that is that, especially in this in this day and age, this is the first time where I see like an entire musical moment of a lovely bunch of coconuts that does not refer to um, ah, fudge nabbit. How can I put this? It doesn't refer to another thing that contains milk and that, well, women have to carry 24-7. Uh, and finally, there's like a short, quick number of Poison Ivy where Dr. Teeth is on the piano and he would sing the song Poison Ivy, but then there's actual Poison Ivy that's coming out to attack him. So overall, I would have to say, yeah, like I said in the beginning, this is one of the funnier episodes in the beginning and possibly a highlight of the season. I definitely had a lot of fun watching this, and the big factor that came out of it was actually because of Tony Randall. His acting and his delivery and his sense of comedy really shine through in this episode, where you can definitely see the range and his skills when he would turn Miss Piggy into stone and tries everything that he can to try to bring her back to normal. It's just definitely one of the... One of the the uh, like one of the many special guest stars that actually did give he pretty much came in and he gave his all into this episode and it's really a lot of fun the comedy that's in this is definitely fantastic and you do see a wide range of uh, character development into some of the other characters seeing their relationship with miss piggy now at the point that she really can't do anything and is now turned into stone so overall a great special guest star great comedy a great setup for a plot line for this episode so yeah this is definitely just a great episode overall overall and definitely one that is worth watching but anyways that is pretty much it for this episode of the muffin vlog so i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and we will see if um more more hilarity shall ensue as much as turning one of the muppets into stone but we will only know until next time so See you later, dudes!